Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Wednesday, November the 2nd, 2022. Wednesday, November the 2nd. Uh, today's episode was just so-so. I mean, we had chatter at Charlie's with first old Brett and Scott, uh, where Brett were eating, you know, lunch, meeting up with each other. And of course, she invites Cody. And then we have to get to with the old Brett snapping at sniping at Cody, uh, Scott sniping at Cody, Britt talking to old Brett, Scott talking to oh. Fast forward for me. I just, I couldn't, right? And then we had chatter between, let's see, Sam and Carly. Sam wanted to get the scoop. What happened in Florida? You still haven't told me what happened. So Carly was just about to tell her about her and Drew getting closer when Drew interrupts. Let me tell her what happened, Carly. The reason why Drew interrupted is he had a conversation with Alexis, a hypothetical conversation about insider trading and hypothetically what could happen and come to find out, yes, of course, Carly did insider trading because Drew told her about the IPO. Um, and plus, Michael told her, too. It wasn't just Drew that told her about the IPO. It wasn't like it was a big secret, you know. Um, so, well, should have been, but they sure didn't keep it that way, right? So Alexis was saying that, look, if someone wanted to, start, uh, you know, make a big stink about it, because Carly's ultimately buying all of that stock did negative. She drove the price up by her bringing all that, you know, flux of money into, into the stock because it hadn't even gone to an IPO uh, that drove it way up. And then when the IPO didn't happen, the investors uh, fled out, which meant the stock just plummeted. Right. And. I don't even remember if Carly's financial planner guy sold all of her stock, you know, that was plummeting because remember he was telling her that, you know, she didn't have enough to buy, even if she sold the stock. I mean, she couldn't sell it for what she bought it for and she could not make up her payment to get the Metro court back. But I kind of think Carly still has her stock. I really do. I don't remember him selling it off because what? She was already at a loss. But anyway, um, Alexis says, look, if you were, if you and Carly are not in a relationship, then it doesn't look like this little nepot this little insider thing. You know, acquaintances, are, you know, pe people are acquainted with all kinds of people, right? But if Carly did insider trading because of what you told her, then Carly could do some serious jail time and the person that told her. And my thinking is, hmm, was Drew the first person that told Carly or was Michael the first? I kind of think Carly overheard them talking and stuck her nose in and said, I can help you guys. I can help. And they're like, no, 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 we're good. We're good. And she's like, I can make any investment I want and I want to invest in your company, right? So I don't know, Carly and Michael have a relationship that's his mother. So, you know, I don't, it's gotta be interesting. This is just a way for, thank God, us not to really have to see Drew and Carly together as a couple because, excuse me, in public, they're gonna have to just really cool it because- Ned is making these little accusations about, I'll turn Carly, you know, Ned is being Ned. And you want to know what Carly's going to do? Make it worse, probably by going and talking to Ned. She should leave it alone, but I'll bet you she doesn't, right? I'll bet you she doesn't. So anyway, Spinelli ends up coming over to Sam. Sam ends up talking to Spinelli oh, in public again about his said illegal app. I mean, my goodness. They talk, people talk about things that are not supposed to get out in public so much in soap operas. They just do. 
So anyway, um, Spinelli still has his, his algorithm going. He still has his app, his society setups. And Sam's like, you haven't shut it down yet. He's like, no. He's not going to be happy until he almost goes to jail. And then Spinelli's going to be, oh, no, 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 I can't. Oh, I can't leave my Georgie. Oh, Spinelli, somebody help me. Please stop. You know, no, you had an opportunity months ago and we're told, look, you better ditch that, right? But anyway, Sam ends up telling him, look, while you still have it, do a deep dive into Cody. Because bottom line, see what you can find up, find out on him. You feel something's up. He's getting involved with Brit. You know, uh, he may be Max's son. So that means he'll be a part of Maxie's, you know, not brother, but like a brother in, in extension to Georgie. I mean, he's going to be in your family's life. So you, you know, Maxie's family's life. So I think you owe it to them to find out who is he? What's he all about? So Spinelli's like, you know what, Fair Samantha, you are right. You're right, right? <laughs> so then we get Elizabeth and her father and mother. Elizabeth finally remembers what happens. She, now here's the thing. She did not push Rako down the stairs. Elizabeth was tried to leave the stairwell because she told Rako, I am going to go and I'm going to tell my mother and then I'm going to find your husband and I'm going to tell your husband because Rako was telling her, you know what, Elizabeth, you're young. If you were adult, you will understand that, you know, love is complicated. You know, situations are complicated. Anyway, that was as they were arguing. So Elizabeth is heading for the stairwell door. Rako is trying to get between Elizabeth and the door, but she's on the edge of the stairs at that point. And she's trying to get in to stop Elizabeth from leaving. And Elizabeth's like, get out of my way. And Rako falls down the stairs. Elizabeth didn't, because you know, they keep showing her holding Rako's arms, leave my, it didn't even happen that way. Elizabeth was trying to leave and Rako wasn't going to let her leave. Not that Rako was going to push her down the stairs. She was just trying to talk some reason into Elizabeth. So she falls down the stairs. And what they're saying is Rako had a concussion and some internal injuries. And due to her internal injury, ble you know, bleeding and injuries, she had to have a blood transfusion and that's where she contacted the disease that killed her. So now Elizabeth is like, so it is my fault. It was my, oh my goodness. I don't, the parts of her, as she's getting ready to remember, I don't want to remember. I don't want to remember. But I got to remember. <laughs> you know, so she remembers. And now she knows, you know, and then she's telling, and her, their, her parents were like, look, we, you would have nightmares, you would sleepwalk, you know, you would have a lot of, of, of trauma behind what happened. So her father would give her sedatives. The mother started doing more like hypnotherapy on her and to help repress those memories. And, and I'm thinking, why didn't you take her to a real shrink? You know, you're doing all this stuff at home. Okay. And then she goes, the, the more you were around us, you know, the more agitated you would be and the memories would start to surface. So we thought it would be best to send you off. She goes, oh, so then you just ship me off to, you know, to live with someone else. Well, no, to your gram, 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 right? So um, she ends up saying, yeah, just to save your reputation. I mean, I... I don't know. And her father said, you know, Elizabeth, you're a parent now. And you know, as parents, we will do anything to protect our children. But Elizabeth isn't, see you know, she isn't seeing it that way. She snatches her purse and she goes out of there in a huff. Okay. So, okay. We'll see what happens when she gets back. Is she going to tell uh, Finn, what she remembers now, she sure didn't tell Finn about drawing the picture of Rayco, now did she? 
So we'll see how that happens. But I think that is going to be the divide between Elizabeth and Finn. She's going to start pulling away simply because she's feeling guilty that she was the cause of his his wife's death because he loved Rako so much, right? But I guess it was so much that Rako was having an affair. So something wasn't happening, right? <laughs> in, in their relationship. Uh, but then we get the you know, cute little scene with Trina and Jocelyn. They're talking about their weekend. And Jocelyn does tell Trina, yes, she and Cam slept together the night before. But she said, you know, I like Cam. I, you know, Cam's a good guy. I, I like him in my life. But Jocelyn never said, I love Cam. She didn't say she loves him. She's like, you know, we just, even after we slept together, I still feel that we're off, that we're just not in sync. You know, they're not close. They're not in sync. And a girl, that's because you're thinking of Dex. That's why you're not in sync. You're thinking of someone else. Okay. She didn't say that to Trina at all, but yet she got Trina to talk about the whole weekend. And, and Trina did tell her that, you know, we were making out on the bed and everything. And I started thinking about Spencer and, you know, we stopped, I ended, you know, cause I wasn't ready. And so she's like, you know, and so Jocelyn tells him about the visit that she and Cameron had with Spencer and how Spencer was hurt that Trina hadn't come to see him. And, you know, Spencer still cares about her. He's like, but, you know, um, I'm not saying you should be with Spencer because, you know, Spencer has some baggage. Right. And so Trina's like, no, I, I mean, I know Rory is and she's naming all these great attributes about Rory. And she goes, everything that Spencer Spencer is not, you know. And I'm thinking, yeah, but that's everything you want. Because obviously the good guy, you don't really want. You really want Spencer, you know? So anyway, they're both saying, so Jocelyn says, you know what? We need to start leading, you know, leading with our heads. We need to start following our heads. And I'm thinking, aren't you supposed to say following your hearts, <laughs> right? Right. Camera should be your heart, not what your head is telling you to do because he's good old Cam. Rory should be in Trina's heart, not because I'm going to be with him because he's good old Rory. So needless to say, uh, both those relationships are about to hit the skids. Well, we know, especially with Trina and Rory, because Rory's on another show now, so I'm sure they're going to be writing him out real soon once she admits her feelings for spencer he's gonna request a transfer to another precinct right well now we have alexis of course alexis got the letter from the killer she reads it immediately calls jordan jordan and dante come over and they're analyzing the letter and they're reading it and the the killer says that she tells alexis you know what she's going after specific people who have wronged me and mine, right? Esme's mother, I'm telling you, it's going to be Heather Weber, who's wronged me and mine. But she tells Alexis, but you know what? You keep it up or you, you know, you're interfering. I could change that up and it'd be you, you know? So Jordan is telling her, you know what? Because Alexis is like, should I oh by, by me running this article was it because then she was saying she was off to meet the scarecrow or something and they're like that was the night Oz Haggerty was dead the night of the postmark the date of the postmark was killed do you think me printing the letter caused the the, the killer to go after Oz Haggerty Oh, she was so worried then. But Jordan says, I think she already has a list of who she this person wants to go after. And so then Alexis is like, oh, yeah, you know. Hmm, okay, well, you know what? I think I should publish. <laughs> she now she gets right back on to what she needs to publish. And Jordan says, I should publish. No, Alexis goes, I should publish the letter. Jordan's like, you will do no such thing. You will do no such thing. Because Alexis... Just a moment ago, you were worried about what you po published the first time. Did it get someone killed? You posting this letter could very well get someone killed. And then how are you going to feel? You publishing this letter could have the killer now coming after you. Then how are you going to feel? Oh, yeah. 
when she said you thought you had integrity, you publishing the letter had Oz killed, she was, oh, that was below the belt. And it's like, no, that was the truth, Alexis. What are you talking about? So Jordan is leaving and she goes, Alexis, I will give you an exclusive, just sit on this, sit on it. I will give you an exclusive, once we get further into the investigation, I will give you an exclusive interview. You know, once I can wrap this up, right? So Alexis goes, do you promise? Or are you, are you okay, are you? She goes, yes, I will. So Alexis goes, okay. So Jordan and, and Dante leave. Alexis, um, she couldn't be lying for her desk fast enough. She picks the phone up. I need to see you right away. I knew she was calling Gregory. So Gregory comes over. She, of course, kept a copy of the letter before she made a copy before she gave it to Jordan. Gregory's reading it. And he goes, oh, what are you going to do? And so she goes, well, I'm going to do what the police commissioner says. I'm going to, she says she'll give me an exclusive. And he goes, do you think she's really going to do that? You know, sometimes they get all involved and they are not known for always keeping their promises, you know? And so Alexis is like, yeah. Hmm. So she goes, yeah, you know what? I could print, I could go ahead and publish it. And then he's like, yeah, but you know what? You really got to think about um, consequences. I mean, the killer could come after you if you publish it. So I think there's two sides that you need to think about. What do you think Alexis is going to do? I'm asking you daily recap fans. Do you think Alexis is going to do A, what Jordan asked, sit on it, or B, what Alexis wants and print it? What do you think Alexis is going to do? Alexis is going to print that. Alexis is absolutely, positively going to print it. She is not about to sit on it because that is Alexis Davis. But that was about it. There was nothing else uh, special to me at all with General Hospital. That was it for Wednesday. So you know tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday is going to be even drier, even slower. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to that. Well, let's go to comment corner. I'm going to breeze through these comments. Hello there says, I think the hook killer is recap lady. What you talking about? Hello there, me. <laughs> Cindy says, I'm not into Robin and Holly at all. I heard she's only back uh, on the show for a short term. Well, thank God. There is no place for Emma Sands, Holly, uh, whatever Holly's last name is, Holly on this show. Oh, Sutton, Holly Sutton on the show. And then hello there says, um, if I know these writers, um, then they're in for, then we're in for a big twist with Holly. One that we can either, we either will see coming or we won't see coming. Sometimes it's agonizing, but worth waiting for. Is it really, some, is it really worth waiting for? Um, otherwise, why watch it all? Oh, watch for a good story, right? I want to, you want some tear jerkers. You want some warm, warm, emotional feelings sometimes, you know, we don't want to see crappy writing all the time. Nina with Donna is uh, not approved by Carly. Oh, heck no. If I, and she didn't say heck, I, I said heck. <laughs> if I was Carly, I would remind him Nina is not supposed to be around Do Donna. Nina was not working. She was playing mama to his kids. Carly will remember that Nina was denied visitations with Wiley. It would be the same with Donna. Um, she would have everything. Wait, she, she can have everything to say about who was around her daughter. Huh, you know what? It says, file it in court, Carly. That's interesting. That's interesting. If Carly would have a repeat, the only difference is Sonny is involved with Nina. And if Carly took it to court, Carly and Sonny would be fighting against each other. And Nina right now, yeah, she lost visitation of Wiley, but 
Carly would not be able, I bet you, would not be able to bar that. Sonny would Sonny would probably prevail if Carly took him back to court for that, probably. And trust me, that's opening up a whole can of worms on Sonny really sticking his nose on who Carly could see in the future. Um, let's see, we're talking about uh, Elizabeth's parents are not parents at all, trying to blame Elizabeth for hurting Rako. Well, guess what? We found out today it was Elizabeth did not intentionally do that. Rako fell. That was an accident down the stairs. They they went way around about from hiding the truth from their child. Um, and then Robin says, Sonny told Carly something has to change about Nina. Uh, like it would be if she had another man. Yeah, I mean, she will not let she would when Carly married Jax Sonny and Jax have always hated each other one of the things Sonny could not stand was Jax was stepfather to Morgan Jax influenced a lot of Morgan's young young life and Sonny couldn't stand it whatsoever Carly was married to him. That was Carly's man. What could Sonny couldn't do anything? If Nina and Sonny get closer and closer together, Nina is not posing a danger to his children. She's an upstanding businesswoman, owns half of a hotel and a magazine. Sonny would win. Uh, let's see the writers. Let's see. Oh, we're talking about Trina's last name. Yes, uh, that's correct. Gia was raised by a Swiss family, by the Swiss family Robinson. <laughs> Switzerland is where Valentine is. The writers may bring the character back. Um, character, the writers are bringing back characters, so why not bring back Gia in Switzerland? Um, oh, just kidding. I have a good one. All right, yeah, because you know what? I don't even really remember Gia. Um, Anna Rihanna says, uh, nice to see Carly and Sonny getting along. Um, I would make Nina more jealous um, as this new Carly will be more endearing to Sonny. I know if she, Nina would be so jealous if they started really talking more, uh, Sonny and Carly. But look, I would love to see Brenda do that damage. Brenda come in and be the wrecking ball and then wreck, wreck right on out of town like she normally does. Um, and then Anna Rihanna says, have all these super spies being involved, being invaded by the body snatchers because they're all off. Wow. Uh, Elizabeth and her folks, um, they're rewriting history. I'm uh, so happy to see uh, recapping Laura and Valentina. <laughs> <laughs> wait you're so funny recapping Lauren Valentine and where did that frying pan come from <laughs> yeah Kevin is more uh is here now to help out the situation if the risers writers don't snooze on this this could be fun times I know I, I really like that storyline but look here we go Somebody's going to enlighten me on the frying pan in a few minutes. Um, that wasn't a frying pan, LOL. That was a bell used in bell choir. No, that was not no bell he hit him with at all. <laughs> My frying pan analogy was better than as a bell. Uh, then Anna Rihanna said, <laughs> LOL. Um, I watched um, on the weekends and I will definitely watch out for this scene. And then um, let's see. What? Being a Bonne Claire enjoy. I really messed up that word. Whatever. Is that French? Um, your comments are great. Um, I think you're my I think a favorite of recap ladies. I think your comments are great. I, I think a favorite of Recap Lady. I think she meant I'm a favorite Recap Lady. Lashanta says, I understand Sonny trying to change, but I don't like the fact that after Sonny agreed that Nina wouldn't be around Donna, uh, he also told Nina um, if she's not allowed around Wiley, um, okay, then why could she be around Donna? 
I know that one's a little tricky. I, I honestly believe um, that that could be a contentious spot. So Carly could fight, but I just do believe that she really would not not win with that. Um, and then she talks about Holly is crooked. Yes, she is. Um, GH thinks we're dumb. Um, we don't remember Finn's wife died of a disease. Yes, he always said Rako died of a disease. He was trying to find a cure from it. He always said that. Um, he was trying to save her. And it was really after he could not save her is when he really dove into becoming an infectious disease specialist. That he, He's always said that. Um, let's see. Uh, how Laura knew where Charlotte was because they covered uh because they covered Valentine's eyes. Well, Laura knew where Charlotte was because remember Laura was always sending Char Charlotte care packages. So Laura knew where she was. And as a matter of fact, Nina knew where she was because Nina was sending her stuff too. Nina, remember when Nina talked to Victor, she goes, "Why did why did my last two packages to Charlotte come back to me unopened?" So Victor's having the place turn turn them back away. And then um, Hello There says, does Finn actually know Jeff Weber through uh, Rico? Ra uh, Rico? Remember Finn was working for Jeff to help keep Elizabeth safe. Really? I don't remember that. Their chemistry was never quite, has never uh, been quite so great, frankly. Um, I wouldn't care if they split up. I don't remember Finn working for Jeff. Hmm. Maybe somebody can comment on that part. Um, and then Monique says, all the talk about Sonny wanting uh, a safe life for his kids. Wait, Sonny, Sam wanting a safe life for her kids. She sure does find a way to get involved in stuff that could possibly put her kids in danger. I know. Now she's sneaking and she, well, she's always been a detective, but Sam will put do a little harm's way stuff. Hello there, says Sam is full of it. Uh, she needs to leave the show. I don't know if Kelly Mott, if Sam, the character, needs to leave the show. And Richard said, agreed. Oh, wow. I recall, Eduardo said, I recall Finn's issue of believing he was possibly Chase's father. I remember that. Willow, Sasha, Elizabeth get the age drift. Um, it looks like uh, generations are mixing. Ava and Morgan, etc. I know they definitely do that. And then uh, Susan says, Sandy says, Robert is better than this. Uh, he should know something is off about Holly. I hate the way the writers um, are dumbing down these characters. Elizabeth's story is so confusing. I thought Rachel died of some foreign infection that Finn couldn't cure. She did. And now you see uh, today's episode, they said it was because of a blood transfusion. And then I'm looking for the comment. Somehow I probably skimmed through it, but somebody let me know. Remember I said, how did that frying pan end up in the pew? <laughs> they said it was, um, it's like a collection plate pan. You know, it's got the handle and they pass it down and people put money in it and I said oh okay now that could be there you could be right about that thank you for that insight on how that pan ended up right there in the church so that makes a lot of sense well anyway that is it for the daily recap of General Hospital I will be back tomorrow for boring boring Thursday <laughs>